let's make a full English breakfast. All right, so let's start with some hash browns. I'm just going to chop the ends and peel all of the potatoes. I'm just going to grate these potatoes. And now once that's all nice and grated, just chuck it in a bowl. And then we're going to be rinsing it under cold water. So you just want to run it all through and get them all nice and rinsed. And you want to dry them off as well as you can. So I got one pan here. I'm going to start by adding some mini pork sausages. And we're going to cook on a medium to high heat. I'm also going to switch on my oven so it's going to be nice and warm. So when things are cooked, they can go in a tray into the oven to all keep warm. And this saucepan on this side, I'm going to put that down to a medium heat and add in some oil. In this part, I'm going to add in some sliced onion. So I just got one medium sliced onion thinly sliced. And we just want to get this nice and sauteed. You don't really want all the colour in it, you just want it nice and soft. I'm going to help out these guys a little bit with some oil. So I'm just going to be adding some bacon. I'm going to pick out the streaky pieces for now because that will produce more fat. So when the more thinner pieces get cooking, it will just be nice and greasy and fatty. And even with our onions, I did add some more oil. They're getting nice and soft. Can of diced tomatoes going in. I'm now going to turn that heat down to more of a low. Season salt and pepper. I'm going to add some white pepper. Just a touch of oregano and basil. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of the balsamic vinegar. Maybe two. So I'm going to take out a couple pieces of the bacon and just move some stuff around. I've got more bacon on. Alright, so I've got another pan heating up on a medium heat. I've only just switched it on. It's about two tablespoons of butter. And I'm going to put some oil in as well. I want to wait until that gets nice and melted. And now I'm also going to put on another saucepan. Just a medium heat, and all that's going to be is heating up some baked beans. Oh shit! So with the butter, we're just going to add in the mushrooms. I had, I think it was six butternut, no, not butternut, that's a pumpkin. Six button mushrooms? I don't know what they're called. The small ones, anyway. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to go and add another can of baked beans as well. And with the mushrooms, salt and pepper. So now that the sausages and bacon is now all in the oven, um, I'm just got about three tablespoons of butter heating up. I've turned the heat down to a medium. And we're going to start cooking our hash browns in this dish with all the flavour from the bacon grease and sausage grease. Which actually, they weren't too greasy surprisingly. I thought they would have been more greasy, but they weren't. But that is all good. And I'm just going to be letting this sit for, I don't know... About three to four minutes until I can really just smell. I want to go by the smell of this um, and also the look. You can kind of peek through the pieces of potato. But now it's been on here for a couple of minutes. I am going to season it with some salt, pepper, and some paprika. And we just wait a couple more minutes until we start to turn these around. Just going to run and scrape it and flop. We'll just do that a few times. All right, and we'll just let it sit for again another three, four, five minutes. Just mainly go by the look and the smell. And we'll just flip, set it out, flip, and then we should be all good. All right, so over here, I got a new pan out. I've got some oil heating up. I like quite a bit of oil when I do my eggs, but I definitely don't like to deep fry them or shallow fry them. Um, 
So I do got some oil there that's going to go to a medium high heat and once it gets nice and hot that's when I'm going to crack in my egg. A lot of people like to cook their eggs on a cooler temperature. I like to do it really hot really quick. Alright my pan, I don't know if you can tell but it's nice and smoky now. Eggs, just a little bit of pepper. Straight away, we're going to give them a flip. I'm just going to pack them onto the tray in the oven as well. Alright, breakfast is now complete, and of course, we're having it with a glass of iced coffee. I don't know if that's. I don't know what if. I don't know what's the proper drink, but we'll have a nice coffee. And I'm obsessed with my new glasses, by the way. I got new glasses and new mugs. I just wanted to show it off mainly, but. All right, so this is my plate of food. I don't eat mushrooms. I think that's the, yeah, that's the only thing I didn't have. And when I went to the store, I was gonna buy black pudding to cook. I've never cooked it. Um, so that would be my first time cooking it. I was not gonna try that though. The boys were keen to try it, but they didn't have any. So, taste. I love dipping the toast in this tomato stuff. It's so good. Oh, and actually we'll try that now. The hash brown just got soggy as on the tray in the oven. So it's just, it's definitely a fail. But like I said, I'll practice and I'll come back. It's good. Not what I was expecting. Bacon. I prefer the streaky piece of the bacon, the fattier piece. Pork sausage. I really do not like pork sausages. Wow, Hang on. I really don't like pork sausages, but these little ones are good with breakfast. These as in a dinner meal, don't like it. I don't know, I'm so weird. That's good. And my egg <laughs> underneath everything. I try to make it runny. But obviously being in the oven it got hard. That's fine, that still tastes good. So I'm happy with this. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below so you can see my future videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!